never stand still, half of them will be blurred. The in-laws are later. All the delays, I know. Go ahead. No, I, I kind of stay back when they say old blood relatives. Oh, because you're adopted? Yeah. Well, they don't mean you. You're one of them. Oh, look at those faces. Now, they're, they're all from the same great big tree. Jolly, glasses off, glasses off. Here we go. Hey, thank you. Glasses off. Glasses off. Glasses off. Yes. That's good. One more. Here we go. There you are. Oh, good. Wait. Oh, this is nice. All right. Will you take a You know, we'll never be able to stand still this long. No. Oh, you people stop talking? Take a date and we'll spring it on these wild Frenchmen of yours. Oh, Gary, there's something I need to do first. Oh, that's all right. Well, you I need to find out where my own roots go. I've been writing and calling for some time now, but it looks like I'm going to have to go out there to Los Angeles. See, that's where I was born, and that's where my original parents might still be living. you would understand. <laughs> I have to know how I began. I mean, who's responsible for me? Joe, listen. You began the day we adopted you. That's when your life began. That's when we began. Our life began. Dad, I love you both. But I, I need to know who I am. We can't stop you. We want you to do what... We want you to be happy, Joe. You know that? Yeah, I know. But I can't help being afraid. Afraid of what? Of the woman who gave birth to you. I've always been afraid of her. Whoever she is. I've always felt that she was out there somewhere. And now look. She's pulling you away from us. No, she's not. That's... That's me. That's my need, Mom. I've always been afraid of her. No, that's... Uh, that's not what's happening. Joe. What's happening? Nothing has to happen. Nothing at all. Just make up your mind that you started. Your life started the day that we adopted you. Forget anything else. Erase it out of your mind. I can't. I'm sorry. But I can't.
Your birth certificate? Yeah, uh, it's the only clue I've got. Except for the agency, but they haven't told me anything. All that gives me is the name of the doctor and my date. Reminds me of the day we brought you home. It's as if you're erasing 22 years. Oh, no, Mom, I'm not doing that. Oh, look at that sad face of yours. Now, now that's the same face old Grandma Dupre makes when she's feeling bad. That very same expression. What about me? When, when I, uh, when I smile, do, do, do I smile like somebody else? I mean, who, whose eyes do I have? What's my heritage? But you have our heritage, honey. Your parents didn't give you one. You have our heritage. <sighs> this should be the happiest time of my life. I should be planning my daughter's wedding. Instead, you're telling me I don't have a daughter. Mom, I'm... And I'm not your real mother. You are my mother. No. I just raised you for 22 years. Fed you. Changed your diapers. Held you when you cried. Uh, you... You are my mother. Now don't do this. Don't try to find her. I have to. Is Mom up yet? No. Fell asleep finally. Did you call a cab? Yeah, it, uh, it should be here any minute now. Oh, good. good. You know, Joe, I... I still think it's wrong of you to go. I suppose you do find them. What do you expect, huh? To be welcomed, to be embraced? No. Believe me, there's nothing for you out there. Just my roots. Then what good is that? I've got roots, you know that. You know my parents, my family. Do you suppose that I could go there even today and, and be welcome, huh? No. No, it's, it's only here with your mother's family. Because we've, we've got something very special. I know. Nothing for you in Los Angeles. You won't find anything. Well, let me try. Huh? Wish me luck, Dad. Wish me luck. Say goodbye to Mom for me.
Operator, yes. Uh, I would like to place a long distance call, please. Hello? Uh, hello, Mom, it's me. Hmm? No. We were worried. Uh, are you all right? Yeah, I, I'm fine. How about you and Dad? We're okay. Um, Los Angeles is beautiful. Aren't you going to even ask me about Disneyland? We want you to come home, Joanne. Hey, I just got here. Uh, anyway, I might find out I'm really a princess or something, right? It's hard for me to talk to you. All I want to say is come home. Goodbye, Mom. Uh, I'll keep in touch, okay? I'm sorry. The court has ordered that records be treated as private matters. Yeah, private, yes, between us. Now, that's, that's you, the natural parents, the adoptive parents, and me. No, no. Each party is kept separated from the other. We have an agreement. We've promised anonymity. Well, I'm, I'm not a child anymore. I'm about to be married, and I want the facts of my birth. Well, that's really not possible. I'm sorry. No, but... it, it is possible. Some people have found out. I've seen half a dozen of you AIS people. You do have a point. Well, I, I'm not AIS or whatever. I am a law student, and I know that you can find I out. I wish I could help you, but I can't. That. You mean Miss Dinner? Should she be in our file room? Miss Dinner, would you like us to call the police? of us in the U.S. Well, that's adoptees. That's not our membership. There are literally thousands of us who are searching for our parents, trying to round out our identities. So it's only natural we should organize and help each other. I started this group. You're adopted? Yes. And uh, about to give birth, as you can see. So I asked myself, what will this child inherit from my side? The answers are locked away in sealed files. That's one of the things we hope to change. There's some cases before the courts now. We feel it's our civil right to be told the particulars of our birth. No more sealed files. Long live the cause. Mike's a, a clinical psychologist and a great help to us, and we can steal him away from his work. Where was I? The garage. The garage? Well, I mean, it was the garage. Now it's the AIS headquarters, the nerve center, the command post. Hi, Chris. Hi. 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 New member here. What's your name? Well, she talks. Her name's Joanne Denner. How's it look for her? Well, she only has a birth certificate. No name. Mm -hmm. well, let me see that. 
Doesn't even lift the uh, hospital. Doctor, Joran, that's, that's not too common, that's a plus. I tried the adoption agency, but they wouldn't help. What'd you expect? Is this it? Yeah, that's, uh, that's all. Hmm. Think you have a chance? Well, sure. First hospital you call could be the right one, right? Right. But it won't be, right? Right. So, if you're serious, you stick to it. You know, they treat this as if it's classified information, the bureaucratic idiots. I'm sorry, I can't help you. They always say I'm sorry. Oh, you want to get started, huh? Yeah, what do we do, pass out guns? This is very serious to me. What is it to you? Well, it isn't the war. There's something that is my right to have, and people are keeping me from that. How long have you been searching? About eight hours. Hmm. Oh, you figure you'd give it about a week? No, oh, at least a week and a half. Oh, a vacation. Nice, nice. Yeah, come come to L.A., see some of the sights, uh, maybe Disneyland. Maybe I'll run into old mom and dad at Disneyland. Yeah, could happen. Well, sure. Listen, lucky things happen to people all the time. I've been at this for five years. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't fly off at me. I could be your sister. Oh, no, no, no. You're just a tourist passing through. No, I'm not. Oh, yes. No, I'm not. I decided you're not my brother. Can I get up this way? Yes, but... Yeah, well, I'll come by tomorrow, okay? I just want to tell you that I have real bad temper and that uh, I didn't mean to come down so hard on you, okay? Hey, uh, it, it's still early and this, uh, this room keeps getting smaller. Pardon? Well, w w would you like to go out for some coffee or something? I have somebody waiting. Uh, I'm double parked. Well, bring in my treat. It's a girl. But uh, some other time. Sure, I, yeah. Okay, well, um, thank you for coming by. So long. have to work today. So I thought we'd get started. You got about a thousand calls to make. Oh, right. Uh, well, come on in. I'll uh, just give me ten minutes, okay? Don't take too long. This isn't a vacation. I know. Hey, you want to get some breakfast? Oh, well, that depends. Depends on whether or not you have a girl that will park out there. Well, yeah, sometime I'll show you the house we're working on now. I'd like to see it. It's got some nice little touches. Uh, <clears throat> sometimes I, I make my own changes in the design. I like to visualize the people living in the house, especially the kids. And um, I like I'll build little hiding places for them, little private nooks for them to, uh, to discover. That's nice. Uh, did, did you grow up in a house like that? No. No, my, uh, my adoptive parents got separated really early, so I just lived uh, all around the place, mostly with my so-called relatives. Were they nice? 
No. Oh. Neither was I. Oh. Some info on some part time jobs if you're interested. Oh, terrific. Thank you, Louise. Make a list of all the hospitals. I'm going to look for anybody with the doctor's name, Joran. Thank you. For what? You're going to help me look all over the country for the Spaulding. Who are the Spaldings? My parents, Alec and Ann. Their address listed in the hospital records was phony. Uh, my father listed his occupation as a machinist. I don't know, maybe that was phony too, but uh, I guess I've called over 500 factories and machine shops. Did you employ an Alex Balling 25 years ago, wife Anne? If so, please reply and give me his most current address. Hi. Hi. Hey, I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, that's okay. I like oh. watching the people here anyway. What are we going to be doing at the library? Just checking through some phone books. What phone books? Portland phone books, Seattle phone book. We're looking for the Spaldings, uh, Alec and Ann. Spaldings? There could be a million Spaldings. There are. How could you have a less common name? What would you like? I don't know, Rumble Still Skin. People watching in this city is, is really something special. My parents could still be here, so I, I, I can't help studying faces and, and wondering if I'm looking at one of them. That's silly. Not so silly. I wonder what I'd say to them. <clears throat> Remember me? <laughs> Just say, uh, hey, look at me, I'm all right, I, I made it. That's right. Excuse me, you gentlemen wouldn't happen to be my father, would you? No, I don't no. think you are. No. Uh, well, why did you give me up? I wouldn't have eaten that much, you know. You wondered that too. Sure. Listen, my, my parents were married when I was born. I know that much. Sure. You know, when uh, a couple has a baby, they, it's usually an event, right? Yeah. They didn't even take me back from the hospital. <laughs> Some event. Uh, sure, I wonder why. You know, sometimes, sometimes I wonder if maybe she's looking for me too. Not yet. Uh, hello. Yes, uh, I would like to know if there is or was a Dr. C. Joran practicing in your hospital in obstetrics. Is C. Joran, J-O-R-E-N. I see. Um, what about in the past? Do your records go back 22 years? Yeah, I know, but this is important. Oh, this is very important. Well, how about if I come in and look myself? A letter came for you at AIS, and Carol thought it might be important, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, how do you like the house? Well, it, it has a very open feeling, plenty of air, you know. It's a good house. I, I'm sure it is. You like the smell of new wood? 
Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not going to use any uh, paint or stain on it. I'm just going to leave it natural so that the wood can breathe. It's better that way. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think if I wasn't doing this uh, for a living, I'd probably do it for fun. <laughs> Would you? Yeah. You um, built a house for yourself yet? No. I think that's more for family, Jim. Mm. Thanks for bringing the letter. Oh, yeah. I forgot. No, go ahead. You, you open it. Swanson's tool and die. Dear Mr. Schroeder, our records show we employed an Alex Spaulding from 1947 to 1958. Wife's name, Anne, no children. Address, 49 Dalton Lane, San Diego. Chris, that's fantastic. You're going to come with me, aren't you? Name Spaulding live here? Nope. That's the man I bought the house from. His name was Spaulding. When was that? Oh, it's been 15 and 20 years ago. Do you know where he is? Uh, what city? I don't know. Is, uh, is there anybody around here that might know? Oh, I don't think any of these people were here then. Uh, uh, did you know Spaulding? I only met him once or twice. Well, what does he look like? Oh, he was uh, dark and uh, a kind of husky, as I remember. And, and his wife? Well, I can't really... I can't get a picture of her. I mean, he was pretty good at that, but it's been a long time ago. Did he ever mention a son? No, it was just... He and his wife, as far as I remember. He used to live here, sort of. Huh. Maybe you'd like to just walk through the place. Come on, come on. They lived here when I was born. 1948. They must have gone up to L.A. to have me, and then they, uh, 
came back here. I'm feeling being here, uh, knowing that uh, she was here with me when she was pregnant. Just sitting there, looking at the walls, looking out the window. Just sitting there. You, you know, this is my favorite room, this dining room. You know that Spalding did all these built-ins, all this wood trim. He did this. Yes. He did uh, all the. Uh... All this by himself. It's pretty good work. So, one day, maybe while he was uh, working on the house and she was looking out the window they decided not to keep me The idea of this meeting is to get other points of view. Let Mrs. Quayle finish. And so you're trying to find, trying to find your real parents. What are you trying to find from your real parents? You said the same thing. What is it that you really want from your real parents? It's just to touch. To see that person, to ask why. Um... I, I don't want to... You mean to ask why? Because they made a mistake? And you no, want to put them down, in other words. No, right? no, no. I, I don't want to do that. I have a dreadful fear of doing that. Uh, I don't, I don't want to push them away by uh, approaching them hostily or to make them defensive. I... Did you ever think that they might have done it uh, for your well-being, for the best for you? Oh, that's unbelievable. Well, if why is that unbelievable? That? Why? I mean, if you're not equipped... At that time, a motion... To open the door and walk out of the house is, uh... It's not that's open... That's helping somehow, it's right? It's not opening the door and walking out. Not at all. Good luck to you. Chris, right? what would you think yes. if somebody knocked on your door and opened it without you saying, come in? You happen to be looking for your real parents. What if you were satisfied and they were searching you out? Would you want your own privacy? I don't understand what you... What well, you're, you're searching for somebody. Right no, you're, you're searching. Right you're searching. Right? You're searching. Else. I'm trying to understand another point of view. Yeah, you're always trying to understand another point you know, of view. Exactly. Uh, it's very emotional uh, about it, uh, Chris, and I guess you have had a bad experience someplace. Two things I'd like to say. Number one, I really kind of object to the use of the word real parent in relation to the birth parents. Uh, the real parents are people like me and my husband. We bring yeah, up okay. the baby. I'm the parent. Yes. Uh, the other... You know, the other people are birth parents, and it's true, they cannot be denied. But I'm the parent, and uh, I would like to feel that my relationship with my child, if my child grows up and is in the position that some of you are in and wants to find the birth parents, will not wipe out 
or eradicate what we have been to each other or what we will be to each other. That gets terrific in theory. Can I say one thing about... There's a lot of guilt pressure put on you. Personally speaking, I guess, I didn't want to make this into a personal forum. My parents made me feel very guilty about wanting to come look. And I feel like there's a terrible gap there now because of that. And uh, it's not taking anything away from them. It's not negating any kind of life we've had together. You're looking for something they can't give you. They can't give you who had you. They can't give you biological identity or wherever else you want to call it. That's a great big question mark. And you go and you try and find out and everybody says, well, it's personal. They're sealed files. Well, I'm the personal. I'm the personal part, you know. That's, right. I hate it. I'm the one, you know, and... I have to live with that question mark, you know. Oh, who the hell am I? I, I, I. You talk about your guilt. What kind of, and I'll use the word pain, is felt by the adopted parents? Are you concerned with what they feel? Or is your concern much more important? No, I, I'm concerned. I'm concerned, but I think you're saying that what I need to know is not important because you take it for granted. Because you take for granted all the things that I need to know for one instant. I can forget them again. I cannot tell someone. I, I have to give them that pain because I must get rid of my own. I I'm need you to I can't see at any it reason to inflict pain. You can't get inside and feel it, it, Michael. That's I, 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 I again. And I, 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 when you're talking about you, well, all I can talk about is I, I, I. That's Absolutely. what I feel. You don't feel it, Michael. You're not adopted. You can see it, but you cannot feel it. You see, this is upsetting me terribly because um, so we've had the baby such a short time, but... Uh, we feel so close to the situation. You know, there's so much feeling pouring out. And you think of devoting your energy and your time and your love. And then the kid grows up. And uh, they all don't of a sudden... Away. They don't go away because they're looking for a biological yeah. parent. Well, that doesn't make them go away from you. It's not a Maybe I can't understand that at this moment. But I know. Yeah, I, I just, it just yeah. terrifies me. I think part of the problem is that we're really in a transition period. You know, we're coming into a time where things are changing. And this is, this is an example of how things are changing. The laws and the, um, the mores that prevailed before were quite different. Adoption, the whole question of adoption, was a big secret. Everything is being opened up more in the society, and adoption is part of that. And I think this kind of thing is healthy. I personally don't feel, I don't share your feeling of, of being threatened, at least I don't right now. You know, I don't know how I feel when my baby grows up and maybe puts the hard question. You kind of have everything all t kind of together. Well, no. You're feeling right really now, comfortable, I right? Right now, right? Are you now? She's trying. She's trying. Wait a minute. What am I just well, going to say? I don't know. Let me just finish. Let me just finish my point. I was going to say, okay, so you're looking. And even if you, you find the person, and even if you, if you have a relationship, or if you don't, or if they throw you out, or they don't want to see you, okay. So maybe you have to do that. Maybe you have to... I don't just... It's okay, Don't it's just okay. toss things off like that. I'm I mean, not, you know, I'm maybe not. they will see you. Maybe they won't. I mean, I mean but Jesus, think of one she's not two, suffering I mean, for it. You are, but she's she's for you. She's saying she understands. If you're suffering for it, you got to do something about it. That's I what see, she said. Okay. Don't be sorry. Yes, yes, yes. It's like all of us are getting so angry about everything and getting so upset about it. But the the point and the reason why we're upset is because even no matter what your reasons are. No matter how much we go I, 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 we're not allowed to. And that's why everyone's getting so upset. That's why it has to be I, 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 because there's no we. Exactly. I mean, I found out I was adopted, and it didn't bother me that much. And I thought, okay, I'll find my parents, do it. And you find out you can't do it. But I seem to be the bad one here, because I'm a mother who gave up her child for adoption. That why doesn't do you... make you a bad guy. I don't know. That makes Why'd an unknown that? quantity to someone. Well, I couldn't at the time. I, I, couldn't what? I couldn't take care of the child. Do, do you have any regrets? Uh -huh. do, would you want to see the child? Yeah. No. Now? No. No. Would be a strange. Listen, I can understand. I can understand you having a really hard life, you know, and having. I didn't not, say that. I didn't say. Well, that. you said that it, was, that it was impossible for you to keep your child. I would guess that would mean. That you I said had... that I myself was not emotionally equipped at that time to take care all of right, it. And right, somebody else right. could do it better than I could. Okay, so you 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 give up then the responsibility of of uh, and take on a lot of guilt of this child. Time. Okay, whatever you know, guilt. You know, that's a whole other story. Oh, but, but, no, but wait a second now. Just let me just let me get the thought out. I mean, okay. you you say I can understand you giving up the the responsibility, but then you you 
you, you, you also deny the birth. It's like, as if you must have made some no, adjustment in your minute. head. Don't forget. That, that person just wasn't. I want, I want to ask you something. Um, and I don't, I don't want to put a guilt thing on you or uh, make you feel bad or defensive about it. Don't you wonder? Uh, you say you don't, you don't want to see the child. Don't you want to look at her once? Just look in her face once? I, I feel that so strong in me for wanting to see my parents so very much. Uh, how can... And I, I guess I feel I want that on the other side, too. Uh, I think you should be aware that, in essence, this is a projection on your part. You're wanting to see. And uh, that, I think, is the basic problem. Projecting your needs and your wants and your fears onto another person who gave birth to you and has given that up and wishes to remain private. Uh, I know it's uncomfortable for you here. And it's, it's like, you know, any one of us could have been your child. But going back to what Michael said about projecting, which I don't think I'm doing, isn't there an ounce of instinct, a grain of instinct that makes you want to once look at your child in the eyes, just once now when she's grown up. I could be your daughter. I wish you were my mother. I wish you were my mother. It's not that bad, this, is it? That's all I want, is this. I mean, you could be my mother, and it wouldn't be that bad. We could just sit and talk and look at each other, like now. I'm sorry, I just... I would like to know my mother's reaction if someone went to her and asked her that. Probably very like mine. That doesn't alter the fact that I, I'm obviously not your mother. Uh, I had a boy child. And um, if I was not equipped to, to raise you, uh, then I shouldn't have raised you, and I felt it was right. Oh, oh. Then yeah, why don't you shut up? You know, I wonder about you. If you did find your parents, what would happen? I wonder what would happen with you, because I think you're obsessed. I don't think it would change anything in you. <laughs> I don't want you to feel like we're, we're beating up on you or anything. It's just that it's like you're on one side of a big file cabinet and we're on the other side. And somehow we both want to talk to each other somewhere inside. And they won't let us. So don't, don't feel like we're beating up on you. And if you've been frustrated as long as, like Chris, you know, it's a lot of phone calls. Oh, I go back to my original premise that all of you are looking, possibly, for something else. Good morning. Joanne, you have a note. Oh, thank you. for me, and, and she found the hospital I was born in. Terrific. Congratulations. Marvelous. Dr. Kaufman, telephone, please. Dr. Kaufman. Dr. White, telephone, please. Dr. White. Mrs. Weiner. That's me. I'm Joanne Denner. Uh, you told me to be here at noon. Mm. You're ten minutes early. Luckily, today's meatloaf day in the cafeteria, and I always eat lunch at my desk on meatloaf day. <laughs> so, if you'll just give me one minute to digest, I'll be right with you. What do you need? Uh, the records of my birth here, uh, 22 years ago. Yeah, are you two getting married? Well, yes. It's supposed to be a secret. Congratulations. Thank you. She's lovely. Yes, she is, isn't she? Now, uh, your name is Denner? Well, actually, I have, uh, I have the date and the time of birth and the doctor's name. And if you could supply me with the name of the parent or parents and an address. Oh, you're adopted? Yes. Well, then we can't examine the records. Wait a minute. 
Listen, uh, you can examine the records. I'm going to the cafeteria. And don't say anything about the meeting. Well, you'll hate it. Just once, would you let me approach you with an open mind? <clears throat> it's dry, you'll hate it. There is no law that says she can't have the facts of her birth. Wait, can't I at least have a name? I really can't do it, I'm sorry. You see, uh, he won't marry me unless we can find out my real last name. Well, then he's not worth it, honey, believe me. You're not gonna give her the name, right? I told you I'm sorry. Come on. Why do you let her off so easy? Because they may want to come back and try again, and if you get to make her mad, she's never gonna help, right? I'm sorry, she said. She could care less. Come on. Hey, wait a minute. There's, there's someone I want to talk to. Would you wait for me? I don't give a damn. Uh, we wait. Okay, I'll wait in the car. Dr. Warner, maternity, please. Dr. Warner. Miss Hampton, telephone. Miss Hampton. Hello. Don't look up. Just, uh, just pretend we're not talking. You have been chosen by your country to perform a secret mission. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. Oh, shh. Sorry. Uh, do you have a name or number? That's your mission, to find out my name. It's in the hospital records. Is this a test? No. Well, you've got to know your name. I'm adopted. Here, I'll give you this. It has my birth date and the time and the name of the doctor. Now, you tell me everything else that, that's in the records, OK? It's not so simple. Did you think being a secret agent was easy? <laughs> this is very important to my country, right? Meatloaf was dry, wasn't it? I haven't eaten it yet. It'll be dry. Get a pencil. Oh, yeah. Only one name was listed. Your mother's. <clears throat> Emma Burko. Burko. B E R K O. Address 820 West Wheeler Drive, Los Angeles. And I do. Your country's very proud of you. Good luck, Miss Burko. Thank you. My name is Burko. And I have an address. My mother's address. Let's go see if she's home. This is 820 West Wheeler Drive. Maybe it was East Wheeler Drive. That's a park. 
This telephone booth, come on. What are you going to say? Hello? Hello. Hi. Uh, <clears throat> I'm new in town, and uh, my name is Verko, too. And I was just wondering if, uh, you know, we might be related. And do you know an Emma Verko? Emma? Mm-hmm. No. All right, thank you. Goodbye. No, wait, call after 5 so you get people home, and make sure you call from AIS. There aren't that many left. Well, there was at least a dozen there, and there's probably more in the valley. Come on. Take your time. Enjoy the moment. You got the name you started with. Yeah, Verco. Verco. Well, it's not as bad as Spalding. Come on. It's not as common, anyway. No. What do you think that is? Is that uh, Slavic? Yeah, it could be. So, you know, you're half Yugoslavian. You know, your mother's name is Emma. That's not bad for one day. Do you think maybe I have people in Europe? Sure. Probably a town. Verko, Yugoslavia. Oh, God. Oh, your father's the mayor. They're going to have a big parade for you when you arrive. You'll probably get the key to the city. There's no trace of him after San Diego. So it's back to the library, right? More cities, more phone calls, more letters. I'll help you. Help yourself. So what are you going to do then now? Just stop? They're stopping me. People who act as if my adoption is a state secret. A lawyer who's protecting my records as if they were classified information. I'm not trying to steal something. I just want to find somebody. I want to just find out how I got all screwed up. I want to know why they gave me away. What about this lawyer? Uh, can we go talk to him again? Talk to him? I begged him. I, uh, I practically threatened him. I broke his door down. Well? Let's try again. Come on, I'll go with you. Hey, come on. Tourist. Hello. Hi. A new lady. Yeah. Did the dragon retire? Did you want to see Mr. Gilbert? I just need some information. Uh, Mr. Gilbert helped my parents with a matter about 25 years ago. Anne and Alex Spaulding. And uh, I just thought maybe you might be able to find it for me. 25 years ago? Mm-hmm. An adoption. Well, I don't know, but I'll check. If the records aren't here, they're probably in our file room. Who oh, am and Gloria? Yes, I'm trying to find some records for Mr. Spaulding. Do you know where they might be? Last time, I told you never to come back here. He's only asking for one piece of information. No. Nobody cares about this but me. I care about doing my job. I care about people bursting in here and threatening me. I should have called the police the last time. Oh, well, well go ahead. If this man ever comes in here again. No, no, no. I, I think wouldn't... you ought to call the police right away, because I'm a real dangerous person. I might hurt somebody. This is my office. I pay rent on this place. Yeah, this right. Guy? The world would stop if you showed me the records, right? You have no right to those records. Yes, I do. 
Just who do you think you are? I don't know! All right, let's go. I'll... <coughs> don't do that. Chris! <laughs> My name is Joanne Verco, and uh, I'm, I'm tracing my family tree, and I was wondering if you know of an Emma Verco. Hello, Mrs. Verco. Hi, uh, my name happens to be Virko, too. And uh, I'm tracing my family tree, sort of. And I was just wondering, do you know an Emma Virko? Uh-huh. Oh, your husband might know. Well, fine, thanks. I'll call back, then. Mr. Verko. Yeah. Hi. Uh, my name happens to be Verko too, and uh, I'm sort of looking for my family tree, and I, I was wondering, uh, do you happen to know anyone named Emma Verko? What's your name? Chris. Chris, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, what's your dad's name? Why? Do you know Emma? Yeah, I, I know Emma. Emma's my sister, but I don't remember. Where does your sister live now? She's living in Pasadena. Uh, well, now, I, my father has a, a cousin named uh, Emma. That's all I know. What did you say your father's name was? John. No, 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 I'm sorry. I don't know. Now, any... tell me, uh, is Emma still Emma Verko? No, she's married now. Her name is Emma Cutler. <clears throat> now, 20 years ago, she lived in Los Angeles, right? Uh-huh. And she has moved to Ridgeton Street. That's uh, 409 West Ridgeton, huh? Hey, thank you very much. Call first. No. You know what you're gonna say? I'm, I'm, I'm a distant cousin. Uh, I'm selling magazines. I just want to be with her for a while, you know. This is Ridgeton Street. Just to look at her, right? Yeah, that's what I want to do. Just stare for about a day. Yeah, 
I want to look at her. I want to ask her about my father. And uh, I want to touch her, you know. Just touch her. Yes. Uh, are, are you Emma Cutler? Yes. Well, what do you want? Well, um, I'm Joanne Denner. But, um, but I'm adopted. And I've, I've wanted for a long time. I've, I've just wanted to meet you. How old are you? I, I was born May 10th, 1952. At St. Agnes Hospital. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean I didn't mean to shock you like that. What do you want? I, I just wanted to meet you. To uh, to see you. And, and I'd like to know about me. I couldn't help it. I, I couldn't keep you. I, I understand. See, I, was, I wasn't married. Please, you, you don't have to go into all of that. I mean, it was the only thing I could do, believe me. No, I, I do. I, I really do. I'm sorry. I, I didn't come here to, to make you feel... It, nowadays, it's different. See, I, I know that. It's different. I mean, a, a single woman can keep a child. They're very open about it. But, uh, wasn't like that for me. I understand. I, I did the best I could for you. It, it was for you, believe me. You look nice. How did you find me? It wasn't easy, I guess. I was just lucky. Lucky? Can you tell me something about my father? Look, somebody gave you a life, right? You have parents. It, 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 it's been a good life. Uh, nice people. Fine. Fine. Then you ask them. Anything you want to about their lives. Not me. Not me. See, I don't have to tell you something I don't like to remember. That's... That's why I let you go, understand? I... I didn't like my life then. And I wanted to forget about it. And I have forgotten about it. Now, what do you want from me? Why did you come here? Sorry, that's such a bad memory. Yeah. It's a bad memory. 
and I haven't forgotten it. None of it. Why did you come looking for me? I had... I had to see what you looked like. And I had to know what happened. I got pregnant and the man wouldn't marry me. That's what happened. What was his name? I don't want to think about him. I mean, he didn't want me. He didn't want you. So what was I supposed to do? I wanted a chance, uh, to, you know, to get married. And uh, with a illegitimate child, you know. Well, that wouldn't have been very good for either one of us. So. And I was right. See, I was right. You did okay, didn't you? Yeah. See? Better than I could have done for you. So I was right, what I did. Are these your children? Yes. Uh, my husband knows about you. But the kids don't. And I, I, I don't want them to know. And I don't want my husband to know that you were here. All right. All right, Emma. And you won't come back again, will you? No. Not if you don't want me to. Well, I'm sorry you were disappointed. <laughs> oh, I, I wasn't disappointed. That's all it was, you know. It's, uh... Listen, I don't want you to think I was some kind of a tramp. No, I, I don't think that. That's all there is to tell. <laughs> I can't even think. I can't believe you're standing there and I'm talking to you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Emma. Did you ever have a name for me? Go. Okay, please. 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 I want to be here when you when you find what you want. Get your law degree. Was it uh, worth it, all the hunting? She, she didn't give me what I was hoping she would, but she sure took something away. That, uh, that question, it takes up a lot of space, you know? And, and that's gone, so I guess that's, that's worthwhile. Well, uh... Keep in touch. I'll phone. No, 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 no. You just write me. Save your money. I'll start a letter on the plane. I 
got a lot to say. I'm not going to let you get away from me for very long, you know. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm nervous about going home. Are your parents going to meet you? No, I didn't call them. I, I, I wouldn't know what to say to them. You sure you want to go home? Yeah, um, I, w I want to be welcomed. I want to be hugged hello. I just don't know how they feel about it. You better, uh, you better call. Uh, I'll wait for you here. Attention, last call. Morning. All passengers were my 830. Hello, Dad. Hey, Joe. God, it's good to hear you. How, how are you? It's Joanne, honey. Come here. I'm, I'm fine. It's good to hear you, too. Yeah, well, listen, we've been thinking a lot about you. We only had two letters. I'm finished here. You're finished? That's wonderful. Uh, when are you coming? Uh, uh, listen, you better talk to your mother. When are you coming home? Hi, Mom. Um, I'm getting on the plane now, so it, it'll be... She's coming now. What time do you arrive? Uh, about 6 o'clock. We'll meet you. Joe, we're glad. Yeah, me too. Okay, honey. We'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. How far I've come, the miles and years turn the light from my eyes, but the past can still be found when the truth has rolled. smiles come alive one last time when the luck accepts my key when a stranger laughs like me then I'll be home each of us alone must choose a path to bring us all together share the love we've known and understand the loves who walk away my mother's eyes my father's smile Shed their sweet life on me When my voice and voices passed Sing in harmony 